Welcome to a brand new episode of Get Inspired with Jason, the podcast and YouTube show where we bring you nothing but knowledge, power, and most importantly, what? Inspiration. In today's episode, we're going to talk about gut health. Now, what is gut health? According to the medical news today, gut health refers to the balance of microorganisms that live in the digestive tract. Looking after the health of the gut and maintaining the right balance of these microorganisms is vital for physical and mental health. In today's episode, we're gonna talk about the importance of gut health, how good gut health can put you in a great mood, how it can clear your skin or make your skin glow, how it can give you more energy, and how getting a good night's sleep helps optimize gut health and allows it to function better. So, of course, you know I had to bring an amazing expert for this. And today I introduce you to my guest, Sara Samandani, all right? And she is the founder and CEO of New Bloom Media and a digital influencer dedicated to educating and empowering women about what they put in their bodies but here's the thing, she is so passionate, you're so passionate, Sara, about what is natural beauty and clean eating using immune-supporting recipes. She takes a natural and holistic approach to help them achieve the quality of life that they deserve and the joy that comes from it. Her passion for wellness stems from her own experiences and ensuring that self-care is made a priority in her life after struggling with an autoimmune disease the failures of traditional medicine, postpartum anxiety, and a drastic need to change her beauty routine to eliminate harsh, toxic ingredients. Welcome, Sara. How are you? I'm good. It's so funny when I hear my introduction. I'm just like, is that me? Oh my gosh. Yeah. No, thank you for having me here. And I'm excited to be here. Absolutely. Look, whether the audience is watching or listening right now, I brought you on this show for many reasons. We've connected in the past. I've been to your events. You are a walking, living, breathing inspiration, not just for me. Thank but you. Thousands, thousands in the world <clears throat> that need to learn more about you, more about your gut health. I mean, mind you, you've been on countless, excuse me, you've been on countless amount of media, TV shows, and sure, it's great. You know, a lot of times people think, oh, well, you know, Jason, you're on all these things. You must be untouchable. No, 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 no. You and I, we're normal. Everyone's normal, but in my eyes, everyone is a celebrity. And how do we become a celebrity? By becoming the best version of ourselves. And you, my friend, have done that. And I want you to share with my audience. Yeah, nothing but love, mm-hmm. right? Uh huh. Mm-hmm. That's the way. Uh huh. Uh huh. I, I like it. <laughs> All right, let's get the show started. So everybody wants to know, including myself. Give us what. Give us the real explanation. Why is gut health so important? You know, it's funny. Like people talk about the gut and how it's the second brain. And I kind of like when I first heard that, I kind of thought like, wow, people are crazy. I mean, that's where you just digest food and that's where you poop out of, you know? And I was kind of like, why are people saying it's a second brain? How did, how are they thinking that it controls the body? But what I've learned is that the gut is so important to your overall state of wellness. And I never realized how much until I started investigating and researching. And to be quite honest, the gut is still constantly being investigated and understood and how it plays a role in our vital health and over our overall well-being. There's this thing called the gut-brain connection where your brain and your gut, like they're supposed to be like hombres. You know, they're supposed to be like amigos, right? right? And you are just like, when you when one of them is out of whack, especially the gut, then it affects the brain and then in turn it affects everything else in your body. Um, so the gut is kind of like its own little like empire inside your body and you got to kind of take care of it. Otherwise you're not going to be in a really good state of health. What's the, what's the difference if someone were to be watching or listening right now saying, well, is eating just healthy? Like say like, uh, I don't know whether it's what they consider healthy, uh, low glycemic or gluten free. What's the, how do you different differentiate the difference of what is living a gut health, positive life, I guess, proactive life versus just 
would they think mm-hmm. healthy? Like, what's the difference? It's such a good question. And it's funny because I have a lot of people that come and ask me the question, like, okay, what's the best diet? What's the best foods I should be eating and everything. But I have to say every body is different. Everybody's different and every body is different. So honestly, it depends on kind of like what you're made of. What are you made of? You've got um, your background, like from where you're from, your ethnicity, that plays a vital role in how your body like digest certain foods. Um, And I'll give you an example. If you look at part of the Middle Eastern community, which I'm part Middle Eastern, um, we tend to have a higher triglyceride level in our bodies, which is interesting. And for me, I don't, I mean, I have my sugar cravings every now and again, but I don't really eat a lot of sugar. I always have a slightly higher elevated triglyceride level. If you take a look at Um, My sister-in-law, she is half Japanese, and she doesn't have the enzyme to digest alcohol. So, you know, where they get very flush in the face whenever they've had any kind of alcohol, but that's her, and that's her body. Um, And then you have other individuals that have autoimmune diseases like I do. Again, what will work for for somebody else that does not have an autoimmune disease will not work for me. Um, so when I start on a journey of health and really trying to understand the foods that can help cultivate a really good gut for you and your body type, I always ask people to go get blood work done. Cause then I can kind of take a look to see where their markers are. Cause you have the general markers, you know, like the CBC panels and where your cholesterol levels are and all of that stuff. But then you kind of get into the nitty gritties that actually adhere to what your ethnicity is. Um, and then. I also ask people to take a stool test because, you know, you remember that Jurassic Park scene in the first, I think it's the first movie where one of the scientists was like so excited. There was this big pile of dinosaur poop and she took her glove and like took a big scoop of it. And she was like, oh, she got so excited. And I thought to myself, what a nutty scientist. But really that kind of shows what's going on inside your gut. And it'll tell you like, where you're deficient in in certain minerals and vitamins and even how your gut is processing you can kind of tell it by the way like your stools look um because everybody looks and if you don't if you admit that you don't look you're lying because everybody looks um and but you just kind of take a peek on like what it looks like so that's where i would start with your own individual journey because everyone's journey is different um and that's kind of how you start with good gut health so once you find out all of those, then I start putting pieces together to try to understand what's going on in your gut. Um, one of the most common things that people are seeing right now, um, you know, there's a lot of IBD symptoms, so um, irritable bowel disease. And irritable bowel diseases, they consist of a lot of different components. You have SIBO, which is an overgrowth of bad bacteria in your upper gut, upper GI. Then you have the ulcerative colitis, which is basically ulcers inside of your colon. And then you have the Crohn's disease, which is the chronic runs for lack of a better word. Um, and, um, and then you also have bacteria dysbiosis, which is overall, um, which is overgrowth of bacteria in your lower gut. And then you have what's called leaky gut, which I'm sure you've heard of Jason before. Uh, leaky gut is kind of a big deal. And if you don't know what leaky gut is, and that's what I had, I had bacteria dysbiosis. I had overgrowth bacteria, bad bacteria, not good bacteria, bad bacteria in my lower um, intestinal region. And I also had what's called leaky gut. So what's leaky gut? Leaky gut, pretend there is a, like a tube right here. Your, your, um, pretend them your intestines. There's like a clear tube and you have your stools that go through the tube and go through the tube. Right. And there's a reason why you have your intestinal linings. One, they have the villa that like absorb, you know, they kind of like brush all of the good minerals and vitamins that, that your food has, that your body has already digested going through. But there's also another reason is, you know, once those, those little villa, they absorb everything from what's passing through before you excrete it, um, it goes into your bloodstream. What leaky gut is, is that there's actual holes in this tube. So when the stool is going through, it's leaking into your body mm-hmm. and creating this very toxic blood environment. So your body is going to go and overload trying to, um, trying to fight off these toxins because you're literally leaking what's in your gut into your bloodstream. And then eventually that's where you get into your autoimmune disease states. And that's kind of like a whole other conversation, but to go back to your original question, like I would, I, everybody, everybody is different. Everybody has an individual thing going on inside there. And there's just some key things I would take a look at to see what is really happening because 
you know, let's take almonds, Jason. Do you eat almonds? Oh, oh every day. Okay, so almonds, everyone is like, oh, they're, they're so healthy for you. They're high in protein. They've got some good fats. Um, they're really high in potassium, a lot of other things. For me, I create a really bad immune response. I'm not allergic to almonds. I create an immune response to almonds. So my, my gut gets super inflamed when I eat almonds. So like I was sitting there eating all these gluten-free crackers that were made from almond flour and I couldn't understand like why my gut was all like messed up. And it was because my body did not like almonds at all and I can't eat them that way. So that's why, again, that's another example of why individuals, every body is different and every body type and every gut is different and everybody will have a different approach and different vitamins that they need to take. And Right. Now, the reason you can't eat almonds is because you have a leaky gut, and that's obviously what caused the autoimmune disease to take place in the first place. Is that correct? Yeah. So that's what caused that. Um, and so when you start having these immune responses to food, what happens is, is your body starts thinking that that food is a foreign invader. Okay. And so then what happens when your body thinks there's a foreign invader all of a sudden your body goes into this state of fight is like, what's up? What's up? I'm going to fight you. I'm going to fight you. So instead of like, for me, instead of taking that almond and absorbing that yummy nourishment and goodness that that almond has to offer, my body's like, nope, nope, nope. I don't want you. And then it'll fight it and try to get it out of the body. And then your body goes into a state of inflammation immediately. Kind of think of it like a puffer fish, and that's what your cells do. They just kind of go, whoosh, and then they, they're just like, oh, like trying to. A hundred percent. I have an almond. <laughs> no, no, I don't. I don't blame you seriously. But it's interesting, and in it, because I'm going to just say one thing, and then I want you to just finish like that that section uh, for the audience that is as to what they need to do next. Because to <laughs> me, it's interesting. A lot of times, and you know this firsthand, we don't care to learn about things or take knowledge about things that are what others would think. If you would have asked me about 10 years ago about all the things that you're talking about, I would have been like, oh, that sounds too complicated. I'm young. I have Yeah, no right. Right. But isn't it ironic? It's we don't want to learn or get better until we're you know, we are legitimately in a bad situation, right? Ill, right? Yes. Whether it's like internally with your, like you said, your immune disease, or for me, I've had so many injuries and I didn't learn about how to stretch, for example, the importance of all these things we need to do. So from an outsider coming in and they're saying, okay, you know what? Uh, Zara has a point here if you get all these tests done, what do they do at that point? Do they come see someone like me that's a food at life and wellness expert or no, they go straight into a dietitian or someone like you? Like what, what's the next step to wrap that section up? So let's say you have all these tests done. You've got this blood work done. You've got the stool test done. Um, then the next step for you is to basically check out a holistic um, health which I'm finishing up my holistic health practitioner license or a um, um, you need to find just someone that's a holistic doctor and what they do is that they're going to go through everything to understand the foods that is creating a reaction to that your body is creating a reaction to then they would go to someone like Jason that would take a look at body st lifestyle with, from fitness and all the healthy recipes and the because the rest and 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 you know you make these have any gut issues are going to be okay with but then for someone like me that has to be ultra sensitive whether it's just my autoimmune condition or the fact that I had leaky gut and that some things weren't working um there has to be a couple extra steps and then don't worry if you can't get access to like a stool test just take a stool diary like take notes of what your stool looks like every time you go to the bathroom. Um, and then there's guides that you can research. You could literally go into Google online and go uh, stool diary or um, this is what my stool looks like today. And then it'll show you images and pictures and it'll tell you what's going on inside your body. Then you can kind of get an idea like, okay, I've had too much sugar. I've had too much oils. Um, I'm dehydrated. And, it, and then that'll kind of give you like a couple tidbits there on where to go. So that's, that's the steps that someone would have to take if they're having severe gut issues. Awesome. That's great to know. And I hope everybody took notes mm -hmm. on that. Now, let me ask you now, 
when it comes to, and you can run this by quickly, because now, now we have a really good understanding, right? What is gut health? Why it's important to get tested? Why to pay attention to your bowel movement, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So why is it so good for clearing up your skin, making your skin glow? So that's actually a really good question. And if I can go back to is if you get like acne or psoriasis or eczema or any of those skin conditions, those are immune responses to either foods that you're eating or, or telling you like your gut needs help. SOS. I need some help here. Um, so essentially what happens in your gut is when you have a backlog of stuff inside your gut, your body is not able to process anything else that you're putting in. So pretend like, take a look at like your sink, right? You know, when you have like a super clean sink, the water goes down the drain, like super easy. Yep. And that's nice because then the more water you're putting in, like you're washing your face or you're shaving or whatever is going in the sink is actually going down the drain. Then you start getting that buildup on the sink if you don't clean it properly. And right. then what happens? Your sink starts overflowing. And then you know how your, your sink will overflow a little bit and then, Finally, it'll take a long time for that water to go down the drain. And then you'll get that black line. Well, for me, it's black because I have mascara and eyeliner and stuff that I wash down. But, you know, you'll get that gook on the side of your sink. And that's essentially what's happening in your body is that when your gut is backlogged, then your body can't process anything that you're putting into it. And it can't get anything going through. So when that's happening, that's when your skin starts reacting. So when your body is actually pushing everything down then your sink is all shiny, right? Your face is glowing, your skin is glowing. But on top of that, you're allowing your body the opportunity to absorb all of that yummy nutrient foods that you're eating. And that's what's going to give you that healthy glowing skin because your body's actually absorbing all the nutrients it needs to give you that glowing skin to make sure your liver's processing everything properly to give you that pop and that glow. And then it's making sure that it's removing all those free radicals free radicals are basically oxidative stress in your body that are like bouncing around and it kind of clears it all so what's left is this beautiful glowing skin everywhere from head to toe and that's why gut health is really really important and one of the um one of the most important things for glowing skin is vitamin c and vitamin b one of the vitamin b vitamins biotin right so biotin we know is good for hair skin and nails and it is produced in the gut. And when your gut is not okay, your body can't produce that biotin that you need to have like long, you know, long hair. Like this is my hair. I don't wear extensions. These are my eyelashes. I don't put on fake falsies. These are my nails. Like it's all because my body is in a, like my gut is in a state of good health. And so that's where you get the glowy skin. And that's how my skin glows too. A hundred percent. And that, now that is what I call that. <laughs> 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 but you're, it's crazy you know what you're saying i get so excited because everything you're saying i would say 80 percent of what you said i knew but a lot of it i didn't but anyone that's listening that knows me i always say and we've heard the saying for years we are what we eat right yes exactly we are what we eat but what's interesting is there's a twist on that now because you could think that you're eating the healthiest food i mean almonds right I'm, if I'm thinking like I got my salad, I got my almonds, or I'm like roasting my own almonds and doing that, but I was actually causing so much stress inside my body. And so even if you can't have access to the blood work, you can create a food diary too to see like, okay, I got bloated, I broke out, I had this reaction, I had the runs, I had constipation, you know, you can actually keep track of it and get an idea and then still stick with the good, healthy meals without those foods that are creating um, a, a, an immune reaction to your body. Absolutely. You, have, your body. To be, you have to be accountable. And this goes yes. for gut health, you know, relationships with your food, yourself, your partners, you know, yes. your fitness. You said it. And God, I'm surprised we don't even have a business together already. <laughs> what works for one does not work for the next, right? Yeah. I mean, yes. I, funny, I, I posted about this this morning. For so many years, my mom would take me to these doctors and they're like, oh, unfortunately, Jason has a really bad thyroid. More than likely, he's going to be uh, either obese or, or overweight for most of his life. And my mom started accepting it and so did I. I was like, oh, I yeah. guess, you know, this is life. So it wasn't obviously trial and tribulation, like you said. I started taking accountability of, okay, 
what's working for me, what foods are good, what foods are bad. Comes, yeah. comes to know we found this holistic doctor years later. I was allergic to half of the things I was eating, right? Exactly. Yeah. And, yeah. and I was okay. getting sick. And, and, and when you learn about these things, and tell me if you agree or not or not, we become our own best doctor, right? Yeah. <laughs> when you, trust your gut. You got to go with your gut, right? You have to go. So that, no, that's okay. That gives me, woo, I'm excited. And I just, <laughs> I don't know. I want you. All right. So before we wrap up today, I need to know how does gut health give you more energy and how does it help you optimize just a better? I mean, clearly there's so many be uh, benefits, but tell me about the energy. Is it specifically like, say, like for me, I love to eat great fruits for energy, bananas. Tell me a little bit more about that. Okay, so there's there's kind of a two part answer to the to the energy thing, right? So you can have so let it, well, and we'll take it on your example. So the grapefruit and the bananas and stuff for good energy. Basically, a lot of stuff that has uh, that's fully loaded in B vitamins. B vitamins are what's going to give you a lot of good energy. The yeah. thing is, is that you could eat those foods all you want if your gut is not absorbing those B vitamins inside the foods that you're actually ingesting, they're not going to do anything for you. So you can talk to people about like, you know, I, I'm sure you've heard people say this. Well, oh yeah, I, I ate that, that, you know, acai bowl and I added bananas and this and that, but I didn't feel any different and I still needed my cup of coffee or, or whatever it is. That's an indication your body's not absorbing those yummy B vitamins, which is why the gut, the, the gut health is so, so important to make sure that your body is pushing the food through. But then also if, whatever is going on in there is actually in a good state of homeostasis inside your gut. Um, so that's where it gives you really, really good energy. I don't drink any caffeine at all. Wow. And I have fully loaded energy. I do intermittent fasting. I work out while I'm still in the state of fasting. And then I go and I have my food and my meals for the day and I still have energy. And then as soon as I hit that pillow at night, I'm out. Okay. And you have a lot of people that, you know, become very restless at night because they are so lethargically tired all day because their bodies aren't absorbing those yummy minerals from all the foods that you're eating because their gut is so inflamed. Think pufferfish again, like their whole intestinal tract, which is what happened to me. My entire intestinal tract was so inflamed that when the foods came through these little villa, they couldn't move and they couldn't absorb anything and the food couldn't go through. And so I was kind of like backlog, like that sink. Like everything was coated, so I couldn't get any access to any of the good yummy nutrients. So once that's all clear and you have a really good digestive lining in your gut because you're taking care of it and you're eating the foods that your body likes and doesn't react to, then you're going to start getting that really good energy because your body is going to start using all those nutrients, those micronutrients and the minerals and everything that you're eating in the foods, and that's going to give you a lot of energy. And then you're going to find you're sleeping better at night as well because you need energy to sleep. People don't realize that you have to have energy to sleep. Your body uses all the nutrients that you have digested through the day, ingested through the day and digested through the day to sleep. And when you're not properly digesting those nutrients to actually sleep, then you're going to have a rough time too. A hundred percent. That, that, that yeah. just brings so much clarity on so many levels. I hope everybody is feeling more at ease because I can tell you right now, a lot of times, including myself, like I said, years ago, we don't want to hear the truth about things. We're just thinking, oh, we're young. We're going to live forever. forever. We're not, we don't have issues <laughs> until we get older and we start developing things and then it's too late. So the fact that if yeah. you have any symptoms right now, or if you have any things that you're like, you know what, it's rather be safe than sorry. Now is the time, right? Um, yeah, Totally. Let me, let me ask you, uh, you, you mentioned, I'm looking at our show notes here, because uh, obviously, you know, I've been following you for a while. You mentioned uh, having greens, greens, and more greens. Um, these are the types of foods that you recommend, such as lean meats, uh, such as uh, superfoods, hemp seeds, moringa powder, cocoa nibs, and foods of prebi prebiotic fiber, such as artichoke. So these are yeah. good lists. For, for people to try out. And um, let me ask you, would it be okay if my audience were to contact you with more of a list uh, of foods that might be good? Because- Absolutely. I, I look at all my DMs. So okay. if you want to DM me on Beauty Mommy, M-O-M-M-E on Instagram, yeah. like I will totally, I'm totally happy to help and answer all the questions that anybody has for sure. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And I'm going to be adding 
the the actual info on the captions on both Instagram and all social, excuse me, all um, YouTube and uh, audio platforms that are for the podcast. Now, lastly, I, like I said, how I met you was through an event and that was the Bloom Summit. And you yep. have a very exciting product that you've had for a while. It's a very successful one that I want to, I want you to share about it. It is called the Clean Beauty Box. Tell us a little bit about yeah. it. We have one minute. So um, I created a new Bloom Box, and what it is is a curated quarterly box of clean beauty products. Um, one of the biggest things for me is that yes, it's really important to put what about what you put on the inside of your body, but it's also what you put on the outside of your body. Yes. Whatever your skin absorbs, your body will ingest it. Some people, just to know, some people have to take medicine topically through their skin. So whatever makeup you're putting on and skincare stuff that you're putting on, your body is actually going to absorb it. So it's a clean beauty box and it's free of like parabens and chemicals that are going to disrupt your endocrine system or anything like that. So super clean. Um, you can use code beauty mommy for 20% off your box and just go on, to newbloombox.com. Before you give my audience, this is an exclusive discount, guys. <laughs> Hello, this is a big deal. 20% is 20%, especially during these times. These are tough times for a lot of people right now. Yeah, um, yeah. Tell us, uh, like, I know it's quarterly, but is it pretty affordable? Is What is it, 40 bucks, 50 bucks a month? What is it? Oh, yeah, so it's, it's, there, it's, Forty dollars is the is the price of the box, and you'll get about one hundred twenty dollars worth of full size products. There's no samples in there, so it's full size beauty products worth about one hundred twenty bucks. And I'm giving you an extra twenty percent off on top of the discount you're getting to buy on the box. Okay, so forty bucks minus the twenty percent, which is promo code. I'm going to put this on the screen right now. Beauty, yeah. beauty mommy, is that right? Yeah, beauty mommy, all caps. Right. Mm -hmm. and, and and do me a favor, everybody watching or listening. If this particular episode and Zara really inspired you, take a screenshot, right? Let's start a conversation, right? Uh, me and Zara are always available via Instagram for direct messages. We can even yeah. get on a group message for anyone that's kind of having a hard time uh, uh, mentally, emotionally, especially when all the knowledge that you've given them is, is it's, it's enlightening. And from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for, for being a guest and, being an amazing soul, uh, I'm so proud of your endeav uh, endeavors and what's to come, which is, I ain't going to tell nobody, but you guys want to follow this girl. She's doing a lot of things. Make sure uh, to thank her. you. So much love to you and everybody. For Absolutely. Sure. Make sure to follow her on social media and stay tuned. We might have some behind the scenes and a follow-up interview. You're watching and listening to Get Inspired with Jason. Don't forget, it's all about mind right, body tight. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks, Ar. Bye. Thanks. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're a new viewer and don't forget to click on the bell so you can get notifications every time a new show releases. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and feel free to leave your comments. I'm Jason Roselle and you're watching Get Inspired with Jason.